agents are scared of picking up the phone today, right? You're sitting there right now. You're not making calls. You're not running enough appointments. You're not seeing enough people because this feels like a hundred freaking pounds. All right. I believe that agents are afraid to pick up the phone for a few different reasons. One reason would be, Hey, I'm not skilled enough. I don't know what to say, right? I mean, I think that's the first step because if you know what to say, if you know the words that are ready to flow out, then it's a lot easier because that instills confidence. So maybe what you're saying, that's a big portion. Also, how you say it, when to say it. Most people don't know, not only do they not know what to say, they don't even know, right? They don't have the script. They, they haven't role played. So they're not like, they've never done it before. Maybe it's like a first time thing, right? Maybe it's the fact that you don't know when to call, the right hours, the right days, all the different things of the phone, right? There's a lot of different reasons why you would be afraid of this thing right here. And most agents are, too many agents are, and today it's okay, this is a safe zone. If everybody on phone fiend now, I'd be like, dude, I'm scared of the phone. If that's the case, I really believe that a lack of confidence will create your fear. I also believe that you not doing it and becoming a master of it and not starting will create fear. Once you start, it will start to, I'm going to put it over here so Instagram can check it out today. Once you start, it will start to eliminate some of that anxiety, that stress, that fear of you being afraid of picking that sucker up. Okay. I believe that you should do things that you don't like to do. There's a lot of people out there that would say, hey, this is, again, this is a safe zone. We can be honest to, together today, right? Let's all drink some, drink some water real quick, okay? Maybe this will help with some of that anxiety. A little H2O. Stay hydrated because you can be afraid, but if you don't drink enough water, you may pass out, right? I really believe that not only do our agents scare to the phone, but I believe that in this in industry, it's the greatest industry in the world, 92% of interest agents fail. I believe you, you should do things that you hate to do. I believe you should do things you don't like to do. I know that I was successful because I did things I did not want to do. A lot of people out there, whether it's in our industry, outside of our industry, will say, hey, you, you, you don't have to do things you don't want to do. Just do whatever you want to do. Be happy with it and you're going to be amazing and wonderful. Okay. I don't agree with them because I'm starting to implement things into my day-to-day -day business my life and my practice that I don't like to do on purpose because I'm tired of seeing agents not do the tough things, right? I've started taking cold showers daily, Dylan, daily. I hate them, bro. You like them, but I hate them, right? But it, you know what? It's tough, man. It's about me mentally tough. We get some comments or questions or anything you want to chime in with today over there? There he is. Don't be this guy. Don't be this dude, man. Don't be this dude. He is freaking scared. The dude's like, <laughs> right? He's scared, man. And most of you look like that when you're about to pick up the phone. Okay, but there's no reason to feel that way. There's no reason to think that way. There's no reason to be that dude or dudette, right? Instead, let's embrace it because it's the most powerful sales tool on planet freaking Earth, okay? It's valuable. Once you become a master of this, you can master this industry. You can master sales. You can make any amount of money you ever want to make once you become a master of that thing. I also believe that, like, that's the one of the reasons, Dylan, I, I work out, right? I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking of that song, right? I work out. I work out. Maybe I'll take a cold shower, right? Maybe I'll eat breakfast. I don't like to eat breakfast. I just don't. Like, the food is fuel. Maybe I'll write down my goals twice every single day because it's important. Right? Maybe I'll watch educational videos or read a book. Maybe I'll do things because I want to be better. And I don't like learning and reading. But I want to be better. I want to be great. I want to be the best version of myself. Right, So that's why you should do things that you don't like to do. I'm not just going to sugarcoat it today. You should do things that you hate doing. Including picking up this thing right here. Okay? Most of you don't like to do it, right? Most of you are scared of this thing. Most of you hate it. And that's exactly why you should pick it up, okay? In general, we struggle with the foam because we don't pick it up enough. 1,000 times later, 
Help me count to a thousand real quick, Dylan. Or 10,000 times later, guess what? It doesn't feel as heavy. Maybe my bicep got stronger from picking it up 10,000 times. But in reality, I'm going to be more confident in my ability if I pick it up a lot. I think that's the biggest thing with anything we do. The more you do it, the more confidence you have. Okay, it's just it's just like me when I haven't golfed all year and then, or or you know and I go out and play for the first time of the year, right? Maybe I'm not as confident as the second time I go out. Same thing, maybe basketball, right? I used to play in college, but I don't play as much. I played only a couple times all year. If I played more, I'd be more confident in my ability. I'm still pretty confident in my ability, but I can be more confident. You can always take go to that next confident level, right? In, in, in any comments, thoughts? Yeah, we got some stuff. Let's, let's do it, man. I need you guys to flood the comments today so Dylan can't keep up. Um, Joseph Daubert on YouTube says, I lose patience with prospects playing dumb and pretending they have no idea why I'm calling. And I'm shocked that someone would dare to call back on the info they request. Yep. I, I think that's the biggest reason why we read the script the way we do. Um, because you know, that's why I don't pause. I, I assume everything and you're going to get that, uh, w with calls, especially I'm with you, man. They, they shouldn't do it. They shouldn't do it because they did it right. But they do. They're, they're gonna, still going to, they're still going to lie. They're going to give you an objection. Every lead that we've ever generated has responded 100% of the time. And they tell agents they don't, and they just believe them. And then agents don't set the appointment, then they get upset, then they think, oh crap, I must really suck on the phone or maybe the lead's really bad. Well, who knows, right? But at the end of the day, it's in our ability to control the call and to become a master of this. I love being a master of the telephone. I love being amazing on the telephone because I keep control of the call. And I typically, Dylan's seen me, I typically get what I want. Well, Dylan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quiz Dylan. Of the leads, answer the phone. You've seen me do a lot of live dials, right? Have you probably seen me make hundreds of dials, maybe including call and call, maybe thousands? Mm -hmm. was, that, was that fair? Yeah. Is that true? Because this is a safe zone, right? But we, we got to be honest. This is a safe zone. We got to be honest yeah, today. True. Okay. He says it's true. Can they hear you today? Um, maybe. He said true. You know, even if he didn't, I was going to say, I'm just kidding. Uh, he, said, he said true. Out of those that answer the phone, what percentage of the time do... I set an appointment when I speak to someone. Um, when you speak to someone, maybe eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Seven out of ten. I would say I was thinking about seventy-five percent probably of the people I speak to. Six, sixty to eighty percent, pretty, pretty, pretty I mean, I'm consistently. Your boy, so I was trying to be nice. He's being nice, yeah. Somewhere around seven. 7 to 8 out of every 10 I speak to, I set an appointment. That's because I've picked up this thing a lot, right? Also, though, out of those 10, how many are going to give me an objection, you know, or say something off the wall? Probably all of them. Probably all of them. Dude, he's right. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 will give you an objection, will say something dumb, will lie, will surprise you, and he's 100% right. Because even though I say... Hey, I need a new roof on my house. It doesn't mean I want a roofer to come to my house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like even if I put in roofing and roofing in Springfield, Missouri, and I need a new roof, right? I don't, but let's just hypothetically say I did. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to like, when the first person calls me and says, Hey, you said you wanted a roof. I'm the roofer. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm busy. I don't have the money, right? I'm going to make something up because the, maybe the roofer just doesn't know how to make a call. Okay, so at the end of the day, there's a lot of reasons you're scared, but this is a safe place. No reason to be scared anymore. But you will always be scared. You will be scared forever unless you pick it up today. Okay? The more you pick it up, the less scared I get. That's why I do live dials. I mean, I'll, I'll live dial in front of, you know, 50,000 people. I don't care because I'm confident in my ability and I've done it enough that I'm not scared of the phone anymore. Most people are afraid. They're biting their nails, right? They're like freaking out. I don't know what to do, but this is a safe place. This is a safe zone. At the end of the day, we're here to do this because we want to help you. We're here to do this because we want to motivate you. We're here to do this because we want to challenge you. We're here to do this because we want to remind you that you can't do everything that you love. You got to do stuff that you hate.
Jennifer. You know what I'm saying? You have to do things that you do not like to do, Michael. Bob, I'm with you, bro, but you got to do things that you don't want to do. All right? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The people that are successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. Successful people pick up the phone. Unsuccessful people are unwilling to pick up the phone because they're afraid. So you have a decision to make right now before we wrap up Phone Phenom. You have one decision to make today. Are you going to do the things that you don't want to do and be successful and reap the reward of doing something you don't want to do, right? And be the top in your industry and freaking dominate and scale and do it. Or are you going to be afraid of the phone forever? Or are you going to be afraid of the phone forever? It's your choice. It's up to you. At the end of the day, you can get past it right now. Or you can be scared forever. People aren't confident in something until they do it. Right? And once they do it, they gain a little bit of confidence. So, so if you do it early and often, like something I used to do, Dylan, is I would make myself do the hardest thing of my day every single day. That's also why I do cold showers in the morning now because it's something I hate. But I get it, I get it out of the way because it's tough. And I want to do the tough stuff right off the bat because other people aren't going to do it. You know what I'm saying, Jay? If you want to be a leader, you want to get ahead of the pack, and you want to freaking start to do it, then you'll do things that other people don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We got anything good over there? Yeah, we got a uh, Let's Mind Travel on YouTube says a uh, pretty insightful comment. Excitement and fear feel the same until you shift your mindset and get your skill up. Mm. Excitement and fear feel the same until you get your skill up. I like that. I like that. You know, that's that's so true. Lack of skill equals a lack of confidence. A lack of confidence equals fear. So until you get some more skill, Raphael, you're going to be scared because you're going to have less confidence in it. Anything else over there? Any Uh, other insightful people? We didn't really have a lot, but Nate Hoshik. Nate, what's up, bro? Ooh, um, for me, it's always, I don't know why I get to six calls and then I just start pounding, man. Six calls and then I pound. Okay. Good question, buddy. That dude's a gym rat, man. He's a beast. He's in success society too, because he's a winner. Similar question. How many times should you call someone a day if they don't answer the first time you call? So how many times do you call in the first day? Three. Three, three, three calls in the first day. I've all, I've also, uh, I've also called someone as many as six times in one day. And most people say, "Dude, you're nuts. That's insane." But I called them and, and they, and they answered the sixth time, we have nine o'clock at night, and they said, "Hey," she said, "I've got all your calls, your voicemails. Thanks for following up. You've been great. You've been the most persistent. Can you come see us tomorrow?" And I'm like, "Dang, that's good." Most people, most people like get these preconceived negative notions that they're going to be mad. But they requested it. But, you know, I'm just doing them a favor. What else? Um, looks like Jesse wants to know Jesse. Exactly what the success society is. Jesse says, what is the success society? The success society is a private inner circle group that I'm creating to where we let one person a day into the success society. Normally only one time a month. Okay. What we're doing right now is the Success Society is a new exclusive inner circle where I do weekly accountability calls every week. I do monthly coaching sessions with a co-host. I bring someone in that's a power player every month. Quarterly marketing sessions with my marketing team every quarter. Okay. We're also doing a private exclusive penthouse mastermind at 8% Nation. You can come up to my hotel room with the speakers and hang out, right? 30% off leads. 66% off retreats. We're doing a lot of different things with that inner circle. It's exclusive because I want to sprint to success together. Okay? Email me. I'll let one person in. Email me. Cody at CodyAskins.com. I'll get you in. Okay? It's a 12-month program. 
It's only $199 a month. Email me and I'll get you in. And, and, and And a lot of people are saying, dude, why did you charge so little? Because at the end of the day, it's more important to me about helping agents and the value. And I need it to seem so unbelievable that the price feels so small. And, and that's just the way I sell. That's just the way I present things. I, I've, I've had moments of mistakes where I tried to charge tried to charge too much for stuff in the past. Not, not anymore. Okay. So email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. I'll get you in. Thanks for watching Phone Phenom. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Appreciate you watching. Share this with an agent right now that needs to see it. And go pick up the phone. Hey, if you love the video, which I know you did, I got two things I want you to do right now. In order, number one, click subscribe right now. Click the bell. Also, obviously like this video. I've got two other videos that you would absolutely love and I'm going to recommend one, okay? The first one is five easy phone sales tips for life insurance agents. The second one, which I actually want you to click on, is the top five mistakes that new insurance agents make. Click on it and I'll see you there.